guys and welcome to what is the final predictions video for the National Football League this season. Uh, because this weekend is the final games and the next time we'll be predicting football matches it will be in the championship. So with that let's get in there. Up first we have the Roin 4 final between Cavan and Tipperary. Now both teams have done pretty well obviously. Um, but I think Cavan have been kind of the stronger team throughout. Uh, I think Tipperary will hold their own, but I think this uh, the final is going to be in Cavan's favour. And I'm going to save by four points. I, I think Tipperary, they're definitely a strong team. They're definitely going to start working their way up. But I think Cavan are just a step ahead of them at the minute. So Cavan to win by four points. Up next we have the Roin 3 final between Loud and Limerick. Again, both teams have been very strong. Um, pretty close to each other. Um, so it's going to be a tough one to call. But I think... Hmm, I think Loud might just be that little tiny bit stronger. Um, I don't think they'll get as big of a win as Cavan over Tipperary, but I think they'll do pretty well. So I'm going to say by two. I'm going to go two points, yeah. I think they'll just manage to get those last two points. So, loud to win by two points. Next up, we have the Roin 2 final between Roscommon and Galway. Now, these two played each other last weekend and Roscommon won. So I think it's sitting in their favour at the minute. And I think it's going to stay that way. I think Galway will put up a bigger fight this time, but Roscommon will get it in the end. And I'm gonna I think it'll be by three points. So I think this will be a very close enough one. But Roscommon have the edge based on their last meeting. So Roscommon to win by three points. And finally, we have the Roin 1 final between Mayo and Kerry. So, this should probably be the closest one. Because either of these two teams could win it. Um, but I think Kerry have been looking a little bit stronger. But Mayo could surprise them, so it's hard to say. So... I think I'm going to go with Kerry for this one. And I'm going to say by three points. I think they'll they'll just get it in the end. So Kerry to win by three points. So there you have it. Those are my predictions for the National Football League finals. So if you remember, I said I might turn this into one video as opposed to two separate videos, which is exactly what I'll do. So now we will move on to the hurling. Okay, so first up in the hurling, we have the Roin 3B final between Fermanagh and Longford. This could be a close enough one, but I think I'm kind of leaning more towards Fermanagh. Um, I think they've just been a little better. I I'm going to say, but uh, I'm going to go with three points. I think Longford will stand up to them pretty well, but I think Fermanagh will just manage it in the end. So, Fermanagh to win by three points. Up next, we have the Roin 3A final between Tyrone and Armagh. Now, this is another pretty close one. Armagh have been doing pretty well in the Harlan uh, as of Tyrone, so it's going to be a tough one to call. But I think Tyrone will manage it. I think they're starting to come up a bit in the Harlan. Um... And I think I think they'll do pr well enough to get a four-point lead. So Tyrone to win by four points. Up next we have the Roin 2B final between Derry and Sligo. Um, this is probably going to be close, but could end up going more one-sided. Hard to say. Um, but I'm kind of leaning more towards Sligo. In this case, I think they're they're definitely a very decent hurling team. I think Derry is more of a football county, and Sligo is a bit stronger in the hurling. So I'm going to go with Sligo, and I'm going to go with three points. I think 
Derry finished top of the table, so I think they'll be able to hold it to them, hold it to them as best they can. But I think Sligo will get it in the end. So Sligo to win by three points. Up next, we have the Roin 2A final between Down and Westmead. Now, Down have kind of been the underdog coming into this. I think everyone was more expecting it to be a Westmead and Kerry final. With Down maybe being the one to go to the semi-final. Or possibly Carlo being the other one in the semi-final. So, I think Down are definitely the underdogs coming into this. So, there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. But I think... Because it's a final, Westmead are going to come out a bit stronger. So I think Westmead will get it in the end. And I think four points. I think they'll be just that bit stronger on the day. So Westmead to win by four points. And our final game in the in both <laughs> uh, the football and the hurling is the Ruin 1 final between Cork and Waterford. So this one is going to be interesting. Because Cork didn't beat Wexford, Waterford destroyed them. But, Waterford didn't beat Kilkenny, Cork did. So, bo both of them are coming in. It sh should be pretty close, but after the way it went for them I think I think Waterford kind of have a bit of an advantage they definitely have a morale boost they're going in with a much bigger win so I think it's in Waterford's favor I don't think it'll be biased as much as they don't by Wexford definitely not I'm I'm going to say 5 points I think they'll just start to pull away in the end or it'll take an early lead that they'll just manage to hold on to so Waterford to win by 5 points so there you have it, those are my predictions for the finals of the Hurling and Football Leagues. Uh, the, next, the next predictions video will be for the Football and Hurling Championships, so be sure to check those out. And be sure to check out my results for these predictions after the weekend. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>